Every once in a while I like to challenge myself and use new mediums of artistic expression. Now you may be looking at this and being like, you always use watercolor, what are you talking about? Well, since you clicked on this video, I suppose you realized I'm going to be attempting digital art today. Now, of course, I wanted to see how bad it's going to be by digitally recreating a painting I made in a medium that I'm very comfortable with, which is watercolor. So during this video, you're going to be presented with the process of both my watercolor painting and the digital painting. And we are going to be seeing the side by side together. By the way, this painting, if you're wondering, is inspired by Greek mythology. I know probably most of you have heard about the epic musical. Yeah, I'm a fan of epic the musical. Is that surprising? I don't know. Maybe. However, these two gods are... well, one of them is actually in it. These are supposed to be Artemis and Apollo. Since they are canonically twins, I thought it would be fun to put them in a painting together, I suppose. And they are coincidentally my two favorite gods. I'm curious, if you're into Greek mythology, who is your favorite god? I know there are a lot of them, so feel free to write about it in the comments, I would love to hear it. In my traditional painting, I really wanted to use those sparkly paints to get the moon and sun to shine when I'm done with them. Since Artemis is the goddess of the moon and Apollo is the god of the sun, and I also added those little arrows around them because they are both into archery, and they also look like sun rays, which I thought looked really interesting. Now I'm just outlining it with colored pencils, as always. I had a little inky face, but colored pencils have my heart all the way. Don't get me wrong, I love outlining with ink, but Colored pencil just looks so unique is the word I'm looking for. If I sound a little different, that's because I'm doing the voiceover in many parts, so that's <laughs> just something you gotta get used to, I suppose. Once I was done with the colored pencil outlines, I added the arrows, and I made sure to make the arrows that are on Artemis' side blue, and Apollo's arrows are, of course, gold. And that's the finished traditional painting. Now let's get on to the actual purpose of this video, shall we? The way I went about this is I just took the picture of the sketch that I used for the traditional painting as well, and I chose to paint over it in ibis paint. Now, the reason I didn't sketch in the app itself is because I was using my phone and I don't have a tablet or anything of the sort for digital art, so an added challenge was actually making it work on my phone, which I did using a genius invention, by the way. I took a normal pencil and I wrapped it in tin foil, and I used that as a digital stylus. <laughs> Everybody gotta be so creative. So yeah, if you don't have a tablet or a stylus, you can make it work. Half of this painting was actually made with my finger before I invented the stylus and I needed it for the outline that you're seeing me do right now and I couldn't get that to be as accurate as I wanted it to so that's how the stylus was born so if you have a friend that doesn't have a stylus and wants to draw digitally but doesn't know how send this video their way and they will be very grateful to you so that's the finished painting mm. now let's have a real side by side and you're going to tell me which one looks better don't forget to subscribe for more and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye